We get it. You're a filmmaker that shoots at 24 frames per second for that filmic look, but here's eight times you should never shoot at 24 frames per second. Number one, old fashioned films. If you're shooting an older film and you wanna have that vintage look, steer clear of 24. In those days, film was projected at 16 frames per second, meaning everything from Melies to Lumiere was filmed well below today's standard of 24. Number two, classic animation. With CGI, animation is rendered at whatever frame rate the filmmaker wants. But in the old days, when animators painstakingly drew or photographed every frame, that wasn't the case. In those days, the standard frame rate was 12, not 24. So to mimic that look, many animators like Wes Anderson and Fantastic Mr. Fox continue to shoot animation at 12 frames per second. Number three, action sequences. How do you make kick-ass action look a little bit more kick-ass? Well, try shooting it at a slightly lower than 24 frames per second. By playing back footage that shot at either 21 or 22 frames per second at that full 24, the slight speed up makes the motion just a little bit snappier. You can see this in films like Sherlock, which shot all of its fight scenes at 22 frames per second. Number four, television or the video look. Believe it or not, almost all TV is played back at not 24 frames per second, but 30, because 30 used to be the highest our broadcast tech was capable of. And while nowadays TVs are capable of playing at much higher frame rates, because 30 was the limit for so long, 30 has actually become the look for sitcoms, soap operas, and reality TV. Number five, commercials or epic B-roll. With displays now capable of 60, 120, or even 240 refresh rates, many productions suit at a higher frame rate. Because of the data sizes, the only places doing this are really commercial houses or premium content channels. But if your production falls into either of the two, it might be time to break away from that traditional 24. Number six, Ultra HD film. Remember The Hobbit? Yeah, those hobbits. Well, by shooting and projecting at a full 48 frames per second, Peter Jackson made history. He gave the entire film an ultra-realistic, some say, video look. And love it or hate it, he did it. And since then, other filmmakers like Ang Lee, Andy Serkis, and James Cameron have or are all set to do the same. Number seven, sports. When shooting sports, the frame rate needs to be much higher than 24 frames per second. Remember that to slow down footage, you need additional frames per second. The standard for sports is 300. That allows you to slow down for a 30 frames per second broadcast to one tenth the speed. And for high speed playback, your viewer can watch all that action at a higher frame rate. Number eight, science. Whether it's explosions or cellular division, filming for science usually means shooting at a higher frame rate. With more frames, researchers can better study their subject. And at NASA, for example, to study the motions of light, they just made a camera that shoots at one trillion frames per second. Just imagine the file sizes on that one. So there you have it, eight times where you should not be shooting at 24 frames per second, but let's open it up to you guys. What's another scenario where you want to shoot at a different frame rate? Tell us in the comments and the best answer will win in M9. I'm Ted from the A-Team and we'll catch you guys next time.